Morning YouTube, good morning YouTube. We are having the M3. I absolutely love this car. I am planning to take it down to Evolve um, and get a uh, and get a stage two map on it. It won't add that much in horsepower wise, but I think it just like, I messed Adam last night and said, is it worth it? And he said, totally. Now his is the automatic, so he's gonna get the GTS like downshift, which is like punch from the back. I'm not, because I've got manual, so might not as be, be as entertaining for me, but even still, it's gonna add probably around about 30 or 40 horsepower, uh, and just to squeeze out as much torque as I can with the engine, you know? But we're, on, uh, we're in the M3 today, and I still not cleaned it from when I took it up north, and it was so many salty roads, so I think today we're gonna, after I do what I need to do, we're gonna go about looking about getting it cleaned underneath. I think there's a place in Pitsy, uh, that have one of those ones where it's like a jet wash on the floor, you drive over and, it's, and it uh, jet washes up. If not, I'll just get on my back with a jet wash and clean underneath because it is making me a little bit paranoid. That's the Japanese car owner in me. I've been thinking about buying a new camera. I've been thinking I want to buy a new camera, but it's so hard to find a camera. I feel like Sheldon of Big Bang Theory where he's comparing the PS4 to the Xbox One. Like, there's just not one camera that does everything. Or if there is, it's like five grand and I ain't doing that. Because the camera I want is around about a thousand pounds. And like, I've seen some other examples and it actually doesn't even look that much better than the G7X. So I'm, I really need to consider it and I do want to get better with the photo. I do want a camera that does better photos as well. So I'm looking at a Canon M50. That's what I'm looking at. But I know there's some downsides about that. But then, but then most people are like, get the A600. But then there's a lot of downsides about that. And it's just so annoying. But yeah, let's get a McDonald's for the lads. What's that? Park up, yeah, okay. So we've got a few mods that I, well, I'll say mod, okay. A few things I want to do, not so really need to do, but I really want to do on the uh, on the M3. So we're gonna be doing them today. Not the hugest amount of stuff, but one of them I think is quite important. And, and I've actually found quite a common issue with these that I want to get fixed as well. And a few little um, things that'll make the car just look nice as well. But then we definitely need to go and find that pixie thing. And also, I wanna take you around somewhere tonight. I need to find something after I've done this video because obviously with this whole lockdown and shit again, I cannot last longer without this thing. So we need to go and find one. <laughs> Right, let's go and give these boys the uh, the Mackies. Let's go. Okay, so we've got the M3 here. There's a few things I want to do. Um, one of the few of them are like aesthetic, but this thing is something I noticed when I first pick up the car, and I actually found, and it's, it's got worse since, uh, but I actually found a lot of other people having the same issue with the E92. Uh, and I've actually found, well, hopefully found a fix for it, but let me show you. If you have a look here on the oil cab, you can see it's quite oily around the outside of it. Now, the first thing I actually, obviously, when I went to pick up the car, the first thing that I noticed that this, this cap didn't really, it's not really like, there's no sort of like strong click. Like, see how loose that is? And uh, obviously, I first noticed that. I was like, oh, yeah, that cap doesn't really sit very nice. So, like, it's just, there's no like, click and a common issue is they actually start leaking out of here and if you see like the paint starts rubbing off this bit here obviously from the tightening clothing it doesn't create a good seal so what we've got is we're going to actually sand down the edge of there and i've actually got an e46 m3 fuel cap so i've heard a lot of people they actually do something with the seals in here that they like try and double seal it um just to try and get like a, a better seal some people put silicone around there and stuff and it's a bit of a pain but I found a guy, he actually finds out that the E46, they have a bigger O-ring on here and it just sits nicer. So we're going to sand down the edge here. You can actually kind of see like here where it's kind of like metal and paint and it's obviously just not going to create a good seal. And you can see it just starts weeping over and coming down here. It just doesn't look very nice. So we're going to fix that first. We're going to put a rag inside there, sand down the edges of there and then put on our new E46 M3 fuel cap. So I actually went to uh, Fairfield BMW, which is in Southend, and I actually got this. So this is off an E46 M3. I think they're actually the exact, the exact same, but nonetheless, that is quite an old fill cap, and the O-ring's going to be a little bit worn down. So this should be quite a lot tighter, but I have got some sandpaper in there. I'm just going to pop this inside. We definitely don't want the shit dropping inside the engine. Uh, and then sand it down nice and flat, and then put our new oil cap on, and that's another job one. Yes, yeah, so I've just sanded off just the edge of the lip, so all that like flaky paint is now gone, and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty smooth. I obviously don't want to go too far on it because that was quite coarse sandpaper. So I just did it really lightly just to get all that shitty little the paint bits off. And now that is flat to the touch. Now we'll put on our new oil cap, and we should be good to go. Right there we go. So that is much, much, much cleaner. 
obviously it's not the perfect little piece of aluminium in the world, the paint is flaking off it, but hopefully that does fix that issue because it did look really bad, just oil sitting there. So, as I said, that was a common common thing on the E92. So, if you do have an E92 M3 and yours is doing the same thing, try this. Um, especially the sanding down part, actually, how bumpy that surface was 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 horrible. So, a little bit of sandpaper, sort it. Let's go to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing about the M3 is, considering it's on standard wheels and it is lowered, I think the fitment is actually quite good on the back. I think the fitment on the back is like perfect. The fitment on the front, the wheel just sticks in way too far now. A lot of the M3 owners, they always say run 15mm on the front and 12 at the back. Um, so I've actually got just some 15mm ones to the front and hopefully just to push that arch out the back at the front. Now I'm not entirely sure if this will make the back look stick in, but it's only 15mm, it's not actually that big. I feel like personally I could get away with like 20s on the front and like 10s at the back. Um, but most people, these are standard wheels and most people have run 15s on the front and it does look really good. So I've got 15s on the front. These weren't that expensive, I'm actually quite, uh, quite happy. I think these are about 40 quid. Uh, which is great for like hub centric spaces and, and these are like actual BMW ones as well obviously not made by BMW but they're specifically for this car and it's from like a BMW aftermarket company so I'm quite intrigued to see how good condition these are well, we've got extended wheel nuts here, we've got 15 mils we're going to bang 15 mils in the front and just see how it sits uh, it is lowered so obviously there is quite a lot of camber so that does affect like the, the sort of fitment so to say but let's bang these 15 mils on and let's see how they look because the front of the car is super 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 skinny for what I want it to be ah, that's annoying fucking low cars mate <laughs> So just for reference, I'm going to do a little before. So there's the arch got before. Whoa, and she is big old girl. Look at the fucking size of in here. Like the disc and the calibers is just fucking huge. Yeah, these discs are looking a bit old to be honest. <laughs> we might just change these discs soon. But that's not why we're here. We're here. Let's put these calibers. Look how many, look how much wire in there is. So many wires just everywhere. All the adaptive suspension and all that shit. Fucking hell, madness. Right, let's get one of these out. So, there are extended bolts. And here is our first one. I know I should really be putting copper grease on these, but I don't actually have any on hand. So that is like a good fitting spacer. Boom, straight on. Right, there we go, that's the one on. It looks meter already, so let's drop it. It looks way meter. Now I'm starting to think the bat needs to come out. <laughs> so we might have to get the 12 mils for the bat, but fuck it. All right, so it's way, way, way more aggressive. I am probably gonna pull out the backs, even if it's just five mil, maybe five, 10 maybe, just to pull out the backs a little bit more. So it's nice to have a rear wheel drive car that looks meter from the back, but it was just way unto meaty on the front. So, so we're a lot more aggressive now, miles better. Right, now the last thing I wanted to do was, obviously when you, if you've seen the video, which you should have, because you should be fucking watching every single video because you put notifications on. Right guys, was the gear knob. The gear knob's actually one of my most frustrating things in this car, I really dislike the gear stick, the gear knob, whatever you want to call it. So a lovely guy off Instagram actually sent me one. Huge thank you to you, but you know who you are. You sent me one of these gear sticks. Now, it's a lot nicer than the one that's on them at the minute, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do it today because when I've just, once I've just come over here, if you, you can just get underneath them. So this, for two reasons, this one's actually illuminated. So if you see this wire here, it's obviously a positive and a negative, and it actually illuminates the one, two, three, four, five, M, whatever. Apparently, I've never actually noticed it, but that's definitely what that's, uh, oh, well it should. <laughs> that's why it doesn't work, the wire's been cut. I'm actually gonna fix that because I actually kind of want to, uh, well, actually, I don't have any electrical tape on me right now, but there's another reason why I didn't actually want to fit this, because if you look, boot is actually built into the gear stick. Like, the leather is actually the same thing. Like, if you can see here, it's not like it's, you know, that's all one leather piece. So, I don't actually want to be cutting this up because it is OE. So, I think I might just leave this until... I get a, another boot. You can get second-hand boots. I'll probably get like an Alcantara one. I've actually, I actually might fix that now, <laughs> but I don't have any electrical tape. That's the only thing. But if you look, like the, it's the same leather, and, and I definitely don't want to be cutting it there and stuff. So I'm gonna keep it like this for now. I was, I was gonna do that today as well. But that's the reason why I don't like. Oh, oh, there we go. I've actually just totally broke it. Actually, fuck it, guys. I'm gonna fix that now. Let me go and get a pair of scissors. I think there actually is a bit of a wiring kit in there. So let me just go and have a look, and I'll see if I can get this now. 
let's actually see this lit up for once. I think I have to wait until it's dark, um, but it might be working off the lights on there. But yeah, let me go and see if I can find that wiring kit. Right, so I can't find it first because I've got some electrical tape. Oh, it's gonna... <sighs> Definitely don't do this at home, guys. Fucking hell, mate. Do not listen to me, boys. I am a fucking cowboy. Right, that last one really hurt my teeth. So what I'm going to do is just put them two together now, tape them around and just tape them because they are going to be moving a lot around in there. So I don't, definitely don't want to put a crimp. The best idea here would be solder it, but obviously I've just been biting it with my fucking teeth, so I've clearly not got solder. <laughs> what do you mean it lights up red? I mean, I wish it was white. It'd be a lot cooler if it was white. Right, so before we go on our little adventures to do the thing that I said we was going to do earlier because I think that it needed to do, I'm actually just going to go and edit one of the Patreon videos upstairs. If you were interested in really supporting the channel, obviously I put a lot more videos on Patreon. You see a lot of behind the scenes things, and I also give away like free things. I also get everyone Christmas gifts and stuff. So it's just like a really nice place for me to give back to the people who really support the channel. So it's nice to differentiate between people who are just clicking on views to maybe chat shit in the comments or etc. I know there's so many people that do support me, and a lot of not many people aren't like that. But uh, Patreon's just a way for me to really single out the people who really support the channel. So that'd be great if you can do that it helps me get through january because january is like the worst paying month ever on youtube so so that's great i'm also i'm also trying to do a lot of new ideas but let's go upstairs edit that patreon video and i'll back with you guys very shortly sorry for that weird cut it's actually been quite a few hours i was just editing the video and there's something i've wanted to start i've been thinking about it for a while uh, but i want to there's another business that i wanted to start um what do this fucking MX5 bump? I didn't get in this fucking cupboard. There's something I want to start. I used to do it years and years and years. I used to do it ages ago. And I'm potentially starting about thinking of making another clothing brand, but this time it's not going to be affiliated to my name. It's not going to be Lock or anything. And the old time it was literally merchandise. So I actually want to do something really good. I have a little bit more money behind me now than I used to have when I first started doing the clothing. So I actually want to create a really good brand. And I've been, I've been thinking about it non stop about two or three days now and finalizing everything. and making sure I could actually make it a really good product. So I've just spent about four, four, four or five hours just just up there and just making making like logos and stuff and actually researching about some clothing. But I'm not going to talk anything about more of that because obviously I don't want to give too much away and if I don't end up doing it then people, well you won't be upset, let's be honest, no one gives a fuck but. And I've actually thought of a name and it has quite a deep meaning behind that word and I feel like that word is a really pretty word and I think I can just make something different and unique and, and actually I feel like I've got quite a good fashion sense so well, never mind, I kept cracking with the video. I'm gonna need to get some cleaning stuff out here because we're gonna go clean the M3. Apparently there's a place where you can go to yourself as I mentioned earlier and you can drive over and clean underneath. Apparently that's open um, but obviously I'm gonna have to take my own cleaning shit. Now I have got some cleaning shit in the back of the M3 uh, but I've actually left my shampoo at the last place I cleaned. So hopefully we've got some juicy details shampoo in here somewhere. Man, this car's so fucking sick. Fucking love it, boys. Uh, okay, so that was the clean park I was going to go to. Uh, but it is definitely closed. I was having an argument in the office about where it was closed, it was open. It's closed. Uh, that's annoying. I really need to clean my car. I'm going to have to just go to ones like a Tesco. All focus! My... I think you have to just go to the ones at like a Tesco or a BP or something. It's so annoying. You have to pay so much to use a jet wash. But honestly, like the car's so dirty and it's really paranoid with the salt underneath. Like, I just want to just jet wash the salt off quickly. So, I know there's one like outside my house, but it's like seven pounds. It's a fucking joke. It's a joke. 